Hey, it's Deanna with the Over 40 Fitness Club and today I want to share with you a mobility training exercise that I do with all of my seniors in my Silver Sneakers class. So the key factors in fall prevention are balance, strength, and coordination. And the beauty of this particular sequence is that it develops all three of those things simultaneously. So what you're going to need is just a set of hand weights and your feet. That's about it. All right, so we want to start with the feet just about hip width apart. And this is kind of like a Tai Chi stepping drill a little bit. So what we're going to start with is just shifting the weight over from one foot over to the other foot. Okay, so we're shifting all of the weight into one leg. So the other leg is empty, there's no weight. And then we're going to shift all the weight over. Okay, the other leg is empty. So start getting this idea in your head about empty and full, okay? So when we shift all the weight into one leg, that leg becomes full, the other leg becomes empty. And when we shift it back, then that leg becomes full and the other leg becomes empty. Now one thing before we go any further that I want to point out is notice that I'm not leaning back and forth, right? I'm not like doing this like tick-tock metronome, clock kind of thing. I'm actually shifting sideways. So if you saw me from the waist up, you'd think I was on one of those like people movers at the airport, right? I'm just moving straight across. And so in order to do that, that means I have to bend my knees, okay? So my knees stay bent. One will always be bent a little more than the other, but my knees are always bent. The other thing you'll notice is that when I'm all the way over to one side, my shoulders are still aligned over the hips. Shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, right? And when I go back over here, watch, same thing, shoulders over hips, okay? So you can just practice this part as long as you need to until you get the hang of it. It looks easy and it is not as easy as it appears, okay? So once you start getting good at that, then we're just going to add in a little heel tap. Okay, so when we do our heel tap, I want you to not step weight into that foot. So this heel taps the floor, but there's no weight on it. Look, I can just pick it up again. Okay? Now in order to do that, it means that you're not going to take a big step out in front of you to tap your heel. You're just going to tap it down just right by the other foot. That's it. Alright, but it's real important that there not be weight shifting into that foot. Okay, our next step is that heel tap is going to turn into a knee raise. So it comes up and it goes back down. And we step out very softly. Okay, the knee comes up, it comes down very slow. We step out very softly. Now I happen to be in a studio with a padded floor, but if you are not in such a place, when you step down, it should be silent. Okay, so we want no thud. When you step down, and if you hear thud, you're stepping too hard. Okay? Now, you do not have to raise your knees as high as I am. You don't have to match my range of motion. But I want you to do the best, best you can to match my tempo. Okay? It would be much easier to do this faster, but that's the whole point, is we're doing it slow and with control. So we're not letting momentum or gravity take over here. This is all balance and coordination and leg strength all together. Okay, before we add in the next part, roll your shoulders down and back. I'm going to turn your palms forward with the weights because we're going to add in a bicep curl. We want to make sure the shoulders stay over the hips, so don't lean forward. All right? So we have one more knee raise, and then we're going to start adding in the hands. So we got our knee. Okay, now watch. Opposite bicep curl and knee raise. One. Keep going. Two. We have four singles and two doubles. Three. Okay, still going slow. Four. All right, both arms. One and two. Do it again. Still opposite. One. 
Keep rocking. Two. Good. Three. Still slow and control. Four. Both arms. One, two. One. And two. Continue. One. So we're going to do this four times. Two. This is kind of a long sequence. I'll warn you now. Three. And four. All right. Both legs. Just kidding. One more set of the opposites. Here we go. One. Slow and steady. Two. Three. And four. Okay, both arms, one, two. All right, so our next four sets are all going to be same side arm and leg. Here we go, ready? One. And two. Make sure the shoulders stay back over the hips, no leaning forward. Three. And four. So you have to use your abs. One. So I'm going to do same side again, but I'm going to start on the other side. One. Good. Two. Match my tempo. Three. Here's another one. Four. One. Okay, we have two more sets of the same. I'm going to start on the other side again. One. Slow and steady, no leaning. Two. Three. And four. Okay, both arms. We have one more set of the same. Then we go to alternating sets. Starting on the other side, one. Two. Three. Four. Both arms, one, two. Okay, so we have four alternating sets now, beginning with opposite. And one. Oh yeah. Two. I'm still not going fast. Did you notice that? Three. Still match my tempo. Four. One. And two. Same side. One. It's not really coordination unless you can switch from one to the other at will. Boom. Four, one, two. Okay, <clears throat> opposite, opposite set. Here we go, one, two. How's that balance? Three, how's that coordination? Four, one, two. I love these dynamic balance sequences. They're very effective. Same side, last time. One, two, I'm walking out of the frame. Three, one more, four. All right, both arms. One, and two. Okay, that's it. Easy, right? Or not? Tell you what. Even if you are not technically a senior, um, that sequence is a little bit harder than it looks. All right, to keep the coordination and the slow tempo and the balance with no hiccups or herky-jerky movements, that can be a little challenging. So give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comment boxes below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks.